Yang just asking the question, did that touch? Yang asked the question. The umpires and Yang give answer. Difficult to tell. Did he hit the side of the table or the edge of the table? these two will meet on many occasions over the next few years it's very difficult to predict where he's going to hit the ball Steps round. Leads 8 6 with two serves to come. Oh, great forehand topspin down the line. Oh. The table, the service was short to his forehand, but he came across to return. Yan An. Alternate serving, first player to win two clear points. To ten. Yan, though, demonstrating he's very much in contention in this semi final. to serve at the start of the second game. The reverse action spin and backspin. A lot does the world champion. Of the last 14 points, the youngster do. playing a lot of forehand top spins if he can, that's when he's at his best. But at the moment, got into this second game. He had a good chance in the first. He led 12-10, but he now faces eight game points in the second game. And backhand topspin off the end of the table. Zhang Yika takes the second game, 11-2. And certainly the start of the third game is going to be crucial. Must be wondering what he has to do to win a point. Oh, the world chat top spin early. And there we see it out wide to Jan's forehand. Oh, 
one way traffic to win two. Make that three for the opponent. And so often we've seen games that should have been won slip away, but at the moment, 16. And under pressure. by Jan. Oh, that's great play. Three game points for the world champion. Again, Yanan just asking whether that ball caught the edge of the table. But one thing for sure, Zhang Yika now has three game points and he wins it. The third game, 11-7. And... Can be incredibly dangerous. With the backhand. Something that was. Lots of coaches would have got most concerned to see players coming across the table to return with their backhand from the. that one of the first players to use the particular technique was the player from the Republic of Czechos. Certainly a technique the Chinese player. Top of the net. There it goes, just enough contact. Five game points. And he wins the fourth game. 11 points to five, but it's the world champion who leads by three games to one. China Open here in Suzhou. <laughs> Hotel has provided excellent food. Up 
looked as though the ball kept quiet. Looks just called a timeout. Jang was certainly up in the fifth game, leading 4 1. So Yanan will be looking to break this. wins the point of course it's not just a question of having the touch it's also having the ability to read the spin have the ability to top spin shots but struggle when their opponent gets in haven't got that middle game the containing game to go a long way <laughs> control 8-7 and that's an error from the 18-year-old. The return was slightly high. Two points away from a place in the final. And the reverse. <laughs> Zhang now calls timeout. He's going to let the youngster stew on the fact that he's still facing a match point. The full minute. Although, having said that, both of them are looking quite with his second match point, Jan to serve. And the backhand down the line. And Jan Yika takes the fifth game, 11 points to nine. He wins by four games to one, and the holder of the title is in the final once again. Who will play in the final, we'll find out shortly. But the 18-year-old Yan An has had a great tournament. There's the story of the semi-final, but we must remember Yan An beat Zuzin, and he beat the number one seed, number one player in the world, Wang Ha.